Hello, all you bladers. Today we're playing Jenga Beyblade style. Have fun, watch the video, and let it rip. So as most of you probably know, Jenga is a game where you stack blocks on each other, and then you take turns taking the blocks out. The person who makes the blocks collapse is the loser. I have erasers and a Lego robot around the tower as defenses, and I'm gonna be launching the bays one another after each other to hit the tower, take down the defenses, and the Beyblade who takes down the tower and makes it collapse will be declared the winner. So, without further ado, let's announce the five turn bladers. Okay, so the first player in this Beyblade Jenga game is Z Achilles with Extend Plus and Attack Mode. Hard launch, let's do it. Okay, he's going around. Let's see if he can take down the tower. Okay, okay. And Achilles goes down. So also, uh, if they knock down an eraser, I'm gonna take the eraser out. But if they don't knock down something, I'll just put it right back where it was. Next is the second player, Nightmare Longinus. Let's do it. Ooh! Longinus bursted, but he took down one of the defenses. One eraser down. Now the Beyblades have an opening to knock down the tower. Okay, so the third player in this Jenga game is God Valkyrie with Reboot. Let's do it. Okay, one block is down. Let's see if he can take down another eraser. He's, the re he's doing the reboot. There it is. Another eraser is down. The Beyblades now have a huge opening to take down the Jenga tower. The fourth Jenga player in this game is Twin Noctimus with ultimate reboot in upper mode. Let's do it. Oh, he moved the erasers. Now these three on the back here are three erasers, so it's gonna be hard to knock them down. Let's see if Noctimus, oh, he almost knocked down the robot. He's moving it, he's moving it. You know what, I'll count that. He pushed the robot out of the tower space. The final player in the Jenga game is Xeno Excalius, then we go back to Achilles. Okay, so now the bays have a huge opening. Another block is down. The blocks keep going down. Okay, okay. Now if the blocks don't go completely out, I will not be taking the blocks out. Next is the Achilles again. Let me fortify the erasers. This is fun. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, Achilles is pushing two of the blocks out, but not enough. So yeah, who, who, who would have thought you could play Django with Beyblades? Ooh. Okay, so that is unfortunately, I thought this was gonna be a long one, but that is unfortunately the end of the video. So yeah, you can definitely see why I didn't choose Super King Bays like Brave and Rage, because like in literally two rounds, one of the like God Bays took the tower down like this, like it took it down. So uh, yeah, Jenga with Beyblades, it's basically where the Beyblades take turns getting launched into the tower. They take turns uh, taking down the defenses, knocking the blocks out, making the tower more and more unstable. And then eventually the Beyblade that knocks the tower down is the winner because that proves they have the most attack power. I did choose more aggressive bays like uh, Achilles in attack mode, and then Valkyrie, Excalius, Noctimus, and Longinus are all attack types. I did choose them on the lighter side just because the tower is, you know, pretty thin. I put defenses around just because I did some testing and if the Beyblades were any heavier or even this heavy, without defenses, the tower would go down like that. Which is why Luminor was able to take down the tower in the second try. So in the first round, he was the first one to take down an eraser, but he got burst. So in the second round, he knew exactly where he went wrong and uh, yeah, Luminor. So, yeah, this was our first Beyblade customization video, basically where we customize a stadium. Um, next, I might do something like block the pockets here so there's no KOs or something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, this was 
pretty fun, but also pretty short. Uh, who would have thought you could play uh, Django with Beyblades? But yeah, the five contestants were Achilles, then uh, Longinus, Valkyrie, Noctimus, and Excalius. Achilles did pretty well, I'd say. No, Luminor did pretty well. Valkyrie, uh, the reboot just isn't forceful enough, and the reboot, the ultimate reboot that it does is just too slow. Noctimus did pretty well. Excalius, I, I don't really remember how well it did, but yeah, the tower is collapsed. And uh, Nightmare Longinus is the winner of the Jenga game. So Luminor is not only the top Asia blader, not only the top blader with a left spin attack type, not only the fifth rank blader in the world, but you can now declare him the Beyblade Burst Jenga champion. So uh, yeah, this was pretty fun. If you have any other ideas like this, then uh, let me know. I do have some other ideas like I will tell you, I do have a driver mod, Beyblade mod, with the Ultimate Reboot driver. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let's get this video to six likes, actually, just because this is a special one. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, subscribe. I promise you, you will not regret it in any way. And uh, yeah, with that being said, have fun. Try this at home if you have a Jenga, and uh, you'll probably need a big stadium, though. And uh, yeah, so have fun, peace out, and keep on blading. Praise to the Jenga champion.